Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Alcatel C21 Pro and we're going to be doing an overview and actually checking this out, device out to take a look to see if it's actually worth it, to see if it's actually good. So, you know, make sure you guys stay locked in with me and also if you're just joining the, the channel and your very first time, do me a favor, hit the like button and in addition to that, you know, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon and I'll get right back with you. I guess we're gonna jump right into, you know, talking about if the Alcatel C21 Pro is good. And, you know, it does have a downgrade from the screen from last year, but, you know, we do have, I don't wanna get into a comparison, but this is, it does have a 720 by 1560 display, 6.4 inch with a little punch hole at the left top corner. And it does have a screen protector on it. It does feel really nice in the hand with that box, the shape to it, which is like squared off, which a lot of phones are uh, using that design now in 2021. And even, you know, because of the design language, it has, it has a really nice feel in the hand and it does have like a plastic feel to it. And, you know, with this device does have a really decent chipset. It, this chipset is used in other phones and other tablets that were released this year, the P22. T was on my Lenovo tablet, and this one is on the Alcatel. So that th this is that's a familiar chip, and I definitely think it's pretty cool. We do also have Android 11, and we also do get six gigabytes of RAM as as well as uh, 64 of of ROM as well. So I think that's pretty cool that we do have a really good battery size uh, with the 4,000 milliamp hour battery as well as the P22. And, you know, the coupled along with the 64 is the six gigabytes or, you know, what I'm saying uh, of RAM, some of the, the depending on which model you get, you can get the four as well. So it just depends on what model you get and everything of that nature. But this device does it does have a pretty decent display on here. Six point four inches, very bezel -less, very large screen, very clear to look at. And outdoors, it's pretty decent as well. But when you're gaming on here, the, the graphics are pretty smooth. Um, you know, you won't be able to ga game on high graphics or anything of that nature, but you will get pretty decent gameplay on here. So you will be able to get some pretty smooth gameplay on here. And there was la little lag on here. So just to be 100% honest with you, but that design language was absolutely pretty cool. I didn't think they would get fingerprints on here, but I did notice that they did build up over time right but you know this thing did have a nice feel in the hand like i said before you could definitely browse on this thing really easily because it just is really snappy right even the ram management was pretty cool on here so we do get four gigabytes of ram on this model that i do actually have and most of the time it only uses it has about 1.5 that i can use based on some of the um apps that are in the background so i just kind of want to let you guys know that it does eat up a lot of the ram and um, everything of that nature but you know this device does run smooth it does run you know cold it doesn't run hot so it does have a nice feel to it but if you do game or something like that it will warm up a little bit but you know it does have really good multitasking on this device as well the glass on here is like a like a ogs type of technology which is pretty cool but it's basically going to give you a really nice, you know, smooth feel. I do have a screen protector over top of here, so I can't actually feel how the glass feels because I have that on here. But that's just to prevent to scratch it since I know it's not Gorilla Glass. But, you know, I would definitely recommend keeping that on there if you definitely didn't want it to avoid scratches on your device long term. But this thing does have, like I said, that Helio P22 so you can multitask with the four gigabytes of RAM. You can also you know, game on this device, you, you get about some, um, you, you get about, um, you know, six to seven days. If you, if you, if you're going to leave it off, like if you're going to leave the, the device on, but like not use it, it can probably last like, like a week or something like that. But if, 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 you know what I'm saying? The battery life usually lasts two days just to be completely a hundred percent honest with you. And um, most of the time, if you're using the device straight through, you'll get about eight hours screen on time. So I just kind of want to throw that out there as well. But, you know, when it comes to the photography, it's absolutely 
you know, pretty sharp in the daytime and it doesn't overexpose the clouds in the background or anything like that. So everything just seems to be pretty clear um, with the 1080 res on this device. So it does give you 1080 res with the pictures and that's pretty cool, right? Because the, you know, it does look, come out pretty decent when you're taking a shot on the photos every single time. So it doesn't blur out moving objects. I noticed when I was taking photos, it didn't blur out moving objects, which was pretty cool for a budget device, right? So it does have anti-shake inside of the settings. It does have zero shutter um, delay as well, which is the reason why it didn't, you know what I'm saying, have that, you know, that, that, that motion blur on here. But you could kind of get an example of how the device would look zooming in and walking around and things of that nature we do get four times zoom so that's how it would look when you're all the way zoomed in on this thing and uh we do have you know a variety of features on this thing right so it does have autofocus so when you're actually zooming in on you know inanimate objects it will give you the option to get details automatically without you having to do anything so you do get that autofocus on here and like I said, the RAM management is pretty good on here. It's pretty zippy, it's pretty quick. As well, we do get pretty fast speeds when just connecting to different things. And you do get that mirror-like glass finish on the back of here, which I really do like. And that jet black color all around it is just absolutely, you know, it's, it's really attractive, it's really appealing. It's also very classy as well. So it does have that really nice shape to it, which I do ha have grown to love. And that's not metal on the sides of there. It's actually, I think it's like all plastic on the sides of there, but it's like a, a matte, like a matte glossed texture to it. So it's not really slippery. It kind of mimics metal in a kind of a way. It's really like a polycarbonate plastic material. And um, you can kind of see, you just get that really nice glass on the back of there and then along with the back of there we're also going to have attached to it we're, we're not getting ips or anything of that nature and we're not getting you know nfc or anything like that on this device but on the back of there we're getting those cameras right They're those the triple cameras right and the main camera is just going to be a 12 megapixel and then the front is going to be an 8 megapixel so you do get a macro ca camera and a portrait as well to guide it which is pretty cool. So I definitely think that's awesome. But, you know, outdoors, this device will be visible in, in direct sunlight. You can also use the GPS to navigate as well. So, you know, I was using GPS to navigate as well. You know, definitely a pretty cool device to use on a daily basis. You know, as, as a you could use it as a secondary phone um, or you or you could give it to a child or somebody that is in your family that you just want to lend a phone to because it's the price of this is really affordable it's under you know under two hundred dollars a hundred and nine dollars is really good so the design language of this thing is really cool as well like if you handed this off to somebody and they kind of just held it in their hand they'd, they'd actually never probably have would hear of this company before called Wakatel. they they would have never heard of that but look at the quality of the pictures that we are getting on the portraits in daytime do come out pretty cool and then if you do if you want to sw come close up just a little bit with the macro camera you can see the raindrops on the leaves are actually captured with some sharp detail and imagery as well so i definitely think that the color science as well as the realistic capture of the camera is pretty cool as well and if i just decided to just take a shot on auto mode just walking up to a plant that actually comes out pretty detailed with the portrait mode so it didn't like you wouldn't think i just took a picture of a blade of grass and then taking a shot at the daytime while it's having a rain shower light drizzle it's not like real rain it's like it's evaporating before it even hits the ground and it's just a beautiful you know for this price i could definitely say that this camera does a pretty decent job with that four times zoom you can get some detail with the train moving by and the distance is actually pretty cool how it captured that from a really far distance only with that four times zoom lens so you know it doesn't have stabilization on here with this guy but it has decent i really love the design language of this thing right that mirror finish on the back which uh 
does it does it does attract fingerprints but it's mostly going to give you that mirror finish on the back and you know it does look really good you do get that triple camera look on the back of there you also do get a really good scrolling speed on here so i can't you know complain about that at 60 hertz but even the multitasking is quick right so you and and they even threw in the headphone jack just to keep that out um 100 percent um they didn't they didn't skip that part about it we do get the gyro sensor we do get the you know compass on here we do get the you know uh no barometer but we do get an ambient light sensor as well and you can see that ambient light sensor is working right when i switch directions it did come back to that lighter you know um, light on my face and everything like that but you can see with the wallpapers on here do look pretty good and I do like that we have a fingerprint sensor and facial recognition on this thing, right? So they did have some really good artwork on here. They did have a really good design team to, you know, make this thing. Well, they didn't actually have to work hard because they did get this design from other phones similar to it, right? So just, just kind of throw that out there. But it is a really cool phone if you want to have that design mode and this is the beauty mode we also do have that regular mode which will show your scars and wrinkles as well and even shots in the nighttime came out good right i had the flash on right here and i was able, even able to capture the moon um zooming in and stuff like that so the skyline did come out good and in the daytime the video was even decent enough when i was on a scooter an e-scooter just going very slow it was able to capture some some pretty nice footage here just you know on the scooter and it wasn't shaking too much but at nighttime you can see that it does shake just a little bit more because of the lights and everything like that and the low light it does get a little bit more fuzzy but that camera is actually pretty decent when it comes to the nighttime and you do get 30 hours talk time on here like i said you're gonna get about two days of battery life maybe three if you're not a heavy user or something like that, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, as far as the location network system, it's the GPS, the AGPS, and the GLONASS. And um, this thing does have Bluetooth 5.0, Wi Fi 5 gigahertz, and the 2.4. It does have a frequency of 4G, but just keep in mind that, you know, there's two different variants the European model, and then there's the North American model. So just kind of want to throw that out there as well. And you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's a really good device overall. You know, that that P22 is definitely pretty decent. You can you can get some pretty good good vis, visual um, images on here when you're looking at the screen outdoors. Even in broad daylight, I was looking at it and the colors were sharp. You know, there was some glare on there if you threw it at a certain angle. But if you put it at a certain angle, you can definitely get like a really good you know what I'm saying, experience even outdoors. But this thing was able to power, you know what I'm saying, a full day all long, a uh, full day of time. And I didn't have any issues with the battery life. I didn't have any issues with the camera either. And, but um, I could definitely say this is a really solid device. It's got a really good screen outdoors. It's got a good processing chip and it does have some pretty decent cameras as well but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section i'm gonna meet you guys down there i'm also gonna get right back with you on the next video but until then make sure you guys stay safe and have a great night and i'll check you guys later peace